So y'all, what's up, what's up? What's happening with your film? Tap in. Alright, we got our lesson today on uh, community engagement. Alright, um, I feel like this is uh, one of the more important lessons that we we'll have uh, throughout this uh, Black Agenda curriculum. Um, definitely uh, a big piece of um, everything I think we think about. But we actually, I'm going to give like a little a mini blueprint as to how we can accomplish, you know, everything that we put in our mind as far as the community. All right, and just uh, shrink it down for everybody. All right. So I'm going to give you all a second to jump in, get your water, uh, get your pen and paper, because we're going to have um, three crucial things that we're going to go over at the very end. Um, that I, It'll be homework for y'all to do, all right? I'm going to get my water now. Tap it, tap it. What's up, Wayne? I'm gonna wait for a few more people to, a few more people to jump in before uh, we get started. I definitely won't keep y'all on this time. I know I say that every time, but I'm really not gonna keep y'all on this time. Because I really, I really wanna get uh, right to it. Uh, uh, type in a B1 if you, um, if you can hear me, you hear me clearly and everything. Type in a B1 so I know you hear me on that, so I, I know you hear me uh, loud and clear uh, before we get started. Type in a B1 for me. Are we in? All right, we in? Mean, all right, we got four. What's up? What's up? Hey, though. I see y'all. All right. Uh, let me get started in a couple minutes. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to come in. And then I'm, I'm going to get started uh, with the lesson. Like I said, it's going to be real quick. Uh, hold on. Let me send. Uh, make sure y'all share the video as well. I keep forgetting to tell you that. Make sure y'all share the video out and uh, tell other people because we about to get started. I don't want nobody to jump in and, uh, you know, miss anything because I see that every time. Somebody's like, oh, I missed it. I record it, but, you know, I want everybody being here at the same time so that they know what's going on. So how I send it out? Let me see. Okay, I gotta invite some people. All right, I see it. I got it. Yeah, but share it if you can. I'm I'm sending it now. So we get some more uh, participation. Uh, in here. Uh, tapping in. I'm just sending it out. I'm working by myself again, y'all. So excuse me. I, I know it's annoying not to see me on camera and my beautiful face. All right. All right. I'm coming. I'm, I'm in here. I'm in here. Don't leave. I am in here. All right. I am here. All right. I'm just trying to get some more uh, people tapped in into the lesson uh, before we get started. You know the people that usually uh, be watching. I'll send them some stuff. All right, because everybody be like, you ain't tell me. I'll make sure y'all get this work. All right. All right, that's all I'm going to do right now, though. Um, all right, that's good. All right, we're going to get started. All right, so um, today lesson is going to be on uh, community engagement. All right, so it's, um, it's just a couple things uh, we really going to go over. It's uh, not too much or not too taxing um, that I'll be talking about. But uh, mostly I was inspired by having this plan because of we need more community engagement. And, uh, give me one second. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Did I lose it at night? I think I'm tripping. Hold on, y'all. Oh, here you go. All right. I see you. All right. Boom, boom, boom. 
All right. So um, the lesson today gonna be on uh, community engagement. All right. So um, by definition, community engagement is uh, the process of working uh, collaboratively with um, through groups and people affiliated in the geographic proximity. So that's basically the big word that's up under is proximity. All right. So that's working with people that's in your area. All right. So what we're gonna go into is uh, three different uh, three different types of community engagement. Um, that I'll be talking about. All right. So the first one we got is uh, community building. All right. So with community building, that's projects um, that intentionally bring people together to get to know one another. All right. So things like this would be, um, for example, I know one that I went to personally that I really liked was in um, Delray. Uh, Chris Caesar. He had the men's talk. All right. So with the men's talk that literally brought people from all over our area, from Palm Beach on down to Delray, Boca. We even had some people that came from Orlando to come down and speak. That is the community building, all right? And it's not just literally right here, but we got people in, you know, in Orlando that you can tap into. That's vital because networking, that's how you get your network. Networking, network, all right? The more people you know, you circulate money, you might run into somebody who has a big funding plan for a business you're trying to do. So that is part of that community building piece. And I think a lot of people skip over that and it's something that is very, very vital, all right? To what we gotta do because once we collaborate with one another, we bounce these ideas off one another and we could fund each other, all right? Because two is better than one when you start a project. And I've seen people with as many as four people start a project and become very successful because you all become the crutches and you're not, there is no weak link. And you being by yourself, you know, more than likely, nine times out of ten, something might, you know, get a little shaky and you need somebody to lean on and you have a good business partner through community building. The next one would be uh, community education. So that's projects that provide uh, instructional services or curricula. So something like what I'm doing right now, the Black Agenda, um, you got my boy Clarence, he does the stocks and all financial services. He'll be going on at um, seven o'clock tonight. So things of that nature where you have community education that's going on from the people within the community because I feel like this is uh, one of the most vital because we got a lot of people, we already accepted the fact that most of the stuff in the textbook, some of that stuff has been lied to us while we've been lied to. All right, so who's gonna educate us better than ourselves? So that's something we have to look into and we have to value because a lot of people take things like what I'm doing for granted because they don't see the value in it. But once you see value in education to actually download this information into your brain, you actually find the value in it and be able to apply it. Because like we say, a lot of people say um, knowledge, is po knowledge is power, but we're trying to rephrase, rephrase this thing to where applied knowledge is power because you can take in all the information you want all right, but you got to go apply it. All right, that's called being intelligent because a lot of people be like, oh, you're so smart, you know, you went to school and things like that, but it's really not that. All right, anybody can sit in the class and take in the information, but what you go do with that information, that's the difference. All right, and a lot of people really have to understand that. All right, because y'all have a lot of skills that y'all are sleeping on. All right, and these skills could bring y'all money. All right. And then um, my third one is uh, community organizing, all right? So this is projects that bring people together with, um, the, with the goal of solving community issues. All right, so one thing that I've seen recently and everybody's been doing it and I'm just like so, so grateful that everybody's been doing it is the fact that we're now having people creating black owned business groups, all right? So where I can literally go post what I'm doing in a group of people that are interested in my services or somebody else's services and we spending our dollars within the black community. Like, how valuable is that? Because I, I swear to you, like before this whole thing with George Floyd, the Black Lives Matter movement started roaring, I did not see any black owned coalition groups or the hub like um, Brianna May, she made, she's doing a wonderful job with that and uh, posting different businesses. And it's spiking interest because these groups are accelerating at a high rate and uh, getting more and more traction because this is what we need. And people finally see the value in it because of the things that are going on around us. And this is another niche that I talk about a lot with the black agenda. We need to be more proactive than reactive. Stuff like this probably should have been happening, but I'm glad it's happening now because if something goes on again, we'll be ready, all right? And we know our resources. So that is an advantage of, you know, right now we're taking advantage of it, but we need to always take advantage of it, all right? And um, one other thing to add to these three, all right? Because all these three, they're all connected to one another. But one thing we really need to understand is that all three say community, community, community. With that, you need to know your community first. Just like if you're having a business, you need to know your customer base and who you're going to be dealing with. Because the biggest problem that I'm starting to see is that people want to go impact the world. 
All right. I get it. Be ambitious. Have a big heart. You know, do what you got to do. But you need to understand we got problems going on right here in your own community that you're not helping to solve. That's kind of hustling backwards, in my opinion, because you want to go straight to the big stage of problems and solve those. But you didn't know the intricacies in your own backyard first or even in your own home. For that matter, if we being if we keep it at 100, all right. So that's just something we got to think about, all right, right there, all right. Now, I'll be moving on to this next phase that we got. We got um the phases are right, of community engagement. It'll be five of them. We got outreach, consult, involve, collaborate, and share leadership. All right. Uh, give me one second. Check in on y'all. All right. See how we doing. All right. We good. I see y'all. See you. See you. All right. All right, now we're going into our five different phases. So the first one we got is the outreach, all right? Provide community with info to establish a line of communication. All right, so outreach. This is where you see, all right, I got a business. My homeboy got a business. My homeboy got a business. We're going to establish a pipeline to get to our community, give them our services. You might have to give some stuff away for free. I gave away shirts for free, all right? You need something that's going to grab the community attention so they see the value in what you're doing. All right, everybody like free stuff. I like free stuff. You give me something free. I'm, we show up to a party because what? We know it's going to be free food and probably some lit. All right, and I'm just being honest. All right, that's why we show it up. So we have to, we see the value in going to that party through those things. So you have to see the value in going into the community and giving away things as well and giving back because those same people, they're going to pour back into your business, pour back into other people in your community as well. So that's a big part with the outreach. Now, the second one, we got consulting, all right? We got entities that cooperate with each other to work with community issues. Uh, no, my bad, we get info and feedback from the community. Now, once we outreach to the community, we have to consult the community. Now we get to know, we got them in here. What does this community need? If y'all see what I've been doing with the Black Agenda, I'm following this model, if y'all haven't recognized that as well. I've asked questions like, what do y'all want to see? What do y'all want me to talk about? Because I can get up here and talk all day, but if you don't care about it, it ain't going to matter. All right? So we are, I had the outreach part. Now we consult, and now I know what y'all want. All right? And then this third part, it goes along uh, with the consultant. You got involvement. All right? So now I got people that are hitting me up saying, oh, I want to get involved. I want to do this. I want to do that. So now I'm putting together, this is the part you're not saying, I'm putting together a little team of people that can actually come in and speak on the live as well that are experts. So I know for sure Clarence, like he do his thoughts, we can get him in to talk about that because I get a lot of questions about it. I'm not an expert, I'm just your daily trader that know how to work the system a little bit. But he's the expert that can get you there, you know, to get you where you want to go if you're trying to make, you know, X amount of dollars or invest in certain companies, all right? And then we got uh, four, which is collaborate, all right? So partnership um, form, by, you want bi-directional communication, partnership building and trust building, all right? So the collaboration piece, this is where you'll more have two partners or you know a company that comes together for the same common goal. All right, so if you doing um somebody might be doing a backpack giveaway, I got the black agenda. I'm like, okay, you're gonna do the backpack giveaway, I'm gonna educate them on how important you know school is for them and you know learning outside of the classroom and things of that nature. All right, that's something that you uh you gotta look at. All right, and then the last one that we got is um we got our shared leadership, all right? So in my opinion, I believe this is probably one of the biggest things that we miss out on because ego, I'm gonna just keep it real with you. A lot of people got an ego when it comes to this business stuff. They feel like, uh, I don't like what they're doing. I ain't gotta work with them. And they do it this way, I ain't gotta work with them. I get it, everybody got their own particular business model and the way they operate their life. But if we have shared leadership of some sort and have some type of unity, I promise you, each and every business that's going on out there, each and every community leader that we have out there, you can find value in anything that somebody is doing, but you have to sit down and listen to that person and put your ego aside, because that's one of the biggest problems I think we're really having is shared leadership. Everybody wants to be at the very top, all right? When you should be, we should be very even with one another. If we're trying to establish the same common goal, we're just doing it different ways. We can find a niche in each other's plan that's going to work for us, all right? And then, um, yeah, so that was that last part on that. Uh, but the example that I had wrote down for that as well is um, when uh, Atlanta, they had the situation with, um, it was one of the officers involved, man. It was something with the officers. But as soon as that thing happened, they had T.I. and Killer Mike that was on um, in front of the mayor speaking to the community because they knew that shared leadership, having the mayor 
Killer Mike and T.I. coming in, the people that really out in the community speaking to them every chance they get and educating them, and they're well-respected leaders. They have that share of leadership, all right? They may not all agree on things, but they got that share of leadership that are able to speak to different people. You got the mayor, they're speaking to the political aspect of things. You got T.I. with his intelligent words, and then you got Killer Mike, who was the history guru of Atlanta and many other things, and they all put their ideas together to come to a common ground and bring the city back down to, you know, almost a regular level. I think they're getting there, but they're not, you know, quite the where it was before, which is fine. It's going to take some work to convince people that are upset, and we all know that, and we, we got those problems in our own family, all right? So I got three things that I'm going to write down, so y'all bear with me right now because I'm going to turn my back to y'all, but I want y'all to write these things down and give me a B1 um, in the chat. All right, if you're getting value from this, give me give me a B1, all right? Let me get a B1 if y'all feeling what I'm saying, all right? If you're feeling what I'm saying, give me a B1, because I got these last three points, and it's going to hit it's gonna hit a couple of y'all souls, but, you know, that's what I'm here for. Like, if we're going to change the culture, we got to do it. We got to get down and dirty sometimes, and that's just what got to happen for us to have this impact, because I know sometimes people got to get pushed and pushed and pushed a little bit more before you understand what's really going on out here and get out that matrix and that ego and self-righteousness so we can complete a plan, all right? And I'm, I'm going to touch this on this, and I saw this on the video. Some of y'all may have saw it, but this is the thing that we do. It's, uh, it's three things, all right? It's three things. We got uh, number one. So with that happening, if one of us make it, it's like, oh man, how they did that? You know, if somebody runs into some money, I always see something like this where they always have this assumption that somebody's scamming or something of that nature. And that's the ridicule for us. You know, you can celebrate the person and their prosperity or whatever they may be going through, all right, that, that may have uplifted them, you know, in their financial situation, their business or anything. You should celebrate that person. There ain't always got to be a negative reaction to what somebody's doing because that is how we've been trained. We have to unlearn things like that and peel back those layers, all right, because it's just, hey, what does that come from? Who did you learn that from, all right? Who did you learn to just straight out ridicule somebody for? You see somebody doing good, like, I'm proud of them. That is good. That is what's going to uplift our community. That's one thing we have to do better, all right? Now, number two, all right? Number two, we're going to touch you with this one. Ladies, y'all be ready for this one. All right. My males, too. I, I ain't going to skip out on y'all. All right. So, number two, rather than collaborate, we'll compete. That is one of the biggest things we'll do. Rather than collaborate, we'll compete. If you experience this, let me get a B1 in the chat. If you experience this, rather than collaborate, somebody will rather compete with you in the community. All right. Rather, our second one, rather than collaborate, we'll rather compete. All right. That is one of the problems in our community engagement. All right. Now, I'm going to give an example that I thought of. It literally came to my head because it's something I see very often All right, in our community. All right. You can just type in the chat. I'm going to leave it up to y'all. All right. How many people do you know or how many women do you know All right, that do nails or do lashes? Y'all type in it just off the top of your head. All right. And there are different people. How many people do you know that do that type of thing? that do lashes or do hair. And this is not bashing on women, all right? Because we got males, they cut hair. So we could get on that subject, but this is an example that popped in my head first. I'm gonna let y'all type that in. How many people you know do hair and do lashes that live in your community and may have a home-based business that they doing it out of their home? How many people do you know like that? How many women do you know like that? Let me know. Let me know how many women you know like that. Over 10, a lot. All right. So we know a lot of people like that. So rather than collaborate, we'll compete. I know at least five myself, and I ain't getting my nails done, and I ain't getting my well, I do get my hair twisted, but I ain't my hair done like that. All right, I ain't get no inches. All right, but <laughs> that ain't the point. <laughs> all 
All right. What I'm getting to is the fact that if we got 10 people in the same community that's doing the same thing, why can't we compete to go get a building and we all work in that one building? All right, and run it up a million dollars if we got 10 people. All right, we got to tap in to our community and ourselves and get out of this mentality of competing with one another and collaborating. Because when we collaborate, we can do way more, all right? We got a project that's coming as well with collaboration. I'm literally living everything that I'm teaching y'all. So I'm doing what I'm trying to teach y'all right now. And y'all really have to understand that it's going to take collaboration. You're going to have to put your difference aside. High school beef is dead. Any other drama is dead. And all those trivial things that we talk about, it need to be dead because collaboration and things of that nature, that's what's going to get us there. Talk about Will and Jada and all that. That's not going to really get us there, all right? It's entertaining, but that's the side show, all right? You give too much attention to the side show and you give too much attention to the circus, you're going to become a clown. And I don't think a lot of people are understanding that, all right? Because you get we caught up in this matrix sometimes of just living a life, doing this, this and that. Yeah, I got mine. I'm good. But what, what can we do for the community to make it better? How can we change things? And this is another reason why the Black Agenda was birthed as well. Because, like the thing with George Floyd, I tell this story all the time. Chris Caesar, he had a lot, all right, that he was doing. And it was just really a think tank, that session for us, because it was really no title, because Chris literally started because he was upset. And I jumped in, I'm just sitting there like, damn. Like, I'm always talking about how people are and this and that. And I was like, come on, I did. I got a pretty good wealth of knowledge. I could literally bring people in and educate them on this stuff because if I'm not doing that, I'm not doing my part in the community, then I'm part of the damn problem, all right? And I'm ridiculing people that don't know. I'm not going to blame you for not knowing, but if I got this platform going on and you coming in and you tapping in every time, I'm going to blame you for not applying it because now I'm giving my time and energy to you to make this thing better and make this thing run how it's supposed to, all right? Because we got a big talk game, but we got to work it too, man. All right, and then uh, the last one, all right, this will be uh, number three. All right, sorry, I, I, I get a little heated because it's something that's, you know, it really bothers me in our community that's going on, all right? And the last one, this is the last negative talk I got. All right, well, it's not negative, but, you know, it's important. It's a lesson, I guess. The last one, rather than support, will sabotage. How many times have you heard somebody say, oh, they ain't doing this, oh, they ain't doing that, oh, I'll call the cops on them for doing this because they're trying to build their business up, things like that. Listen, rather than support, you'll sabotage. Why are we sabotaging one another as a people? Are, don't we have enough pitted against us already? Answer my question. Y'all answer the question. Don't we have enough already pitted against us as a people and everything that we're trying to accomplish every day? Just living life, just driving down the road, getting to work, all right? Why are we trying to sabotage one another? What sense does that make to a person in your community and have the time in your community down the line somewhere? Y'all cousins, y'all grew up together. And a lot of people overlooking that fact. Where do we learn this from to hate one another and hate what somebody else is doing, all right? That, that is like the craziest thing to me. All right, you can rewire your brain set. You are a grown folk, all right? It ain't no more the kitty stuff and all that. You gotta grow up and we gotta grow out of that mentality of sabotaging, all right? And competing and ridiculing one another. These are three things I see played with. Ridicule, competing, and sabotage, all right? Now, I know we all got our self-interest and that's perfectly fine, but to some degree, where are you giving back? Especially if you got a business some way down the line, you got to give back to the community. They'll find more value in you, all right? You have to understand that part. That's part of your business is giving back, all right? Because more people are going to pour into you, and they're going to see your work. They're going to see what you're doing. They're going to come to you, all right? Because they can entrust in you. When people are entrusting you and how I'm talking to y'all right now, I'm probably talking to y'all like I'm somebody's daddy, all right? Or I'm y'all big cousin, all right? But this is the trust part that comes. These are the conversations that are not happening, all right, but it has to happen for us to achieve our goal to be always talking about either the separation, this liberation, and things of that nature. You really have to understand and wake up out of these three things. Now, the one thing that you know, I was watching the video and it said it made perfect sense to me. Before we get to that, type of be one if you get some value. Make sure you share this video. Uh, this is the last one we're hit it before we get to, before we get up out of here because I want to make this thing quick. All right. <laughs> Don't get heated. <laughs> you funny. All right. 
So this last part that made a lot of sense to me is that, and we subconsciously, I don't think we have mastered this yet, but with that video I watched on it, it made perfect sense. So when everything was going on with slavery, all right, let's say back in the 1860s and on above that, the American slavery as we know it, all right, we always thought this thing where um, we say there's the house, the house N word, I'll just keep it at that, all right, but when you had that house person in there, how many of them was it? Y'all give me, y'all give me a number. How many of them was it in that house? That was the N words. How many of them was in there? The house Negro. That's what we would call it, the house Negro. I just don't even really like the words at all. All right, how how many of them was in there? All right, in the house we talking about. All right, I said we got the house, we got the house Negro. How many of them was in the house? You know, back in slavery time, how many was in the house? I'm gonna bring this thing full circle for y'all right now. All right, from you know what I've been looking at and what I came with and how I'm gonna make it make sense to you about why we do these three things with um, you know rather than celebrate and ridicule, rather than collaborate, compete, and rather than support, we sabotage. All right, I'm looking to see what anybody said. One. All right, I got my answer. Somebody said one. Now. We got one house Negro, right? This thing has plagued us for 400 years. Nobody's seeing it. I'm just really seeing it and waking up to it. Now, when Africans getting liberated, coming out of, um, I believe it was apartheid, you had Nelson Mandela, that was one. All right, one black. We got one black president. So now, when that was happening, you have to look at the scale that we're looking at with people and how this thing is being built up. All right, you got one person that's up here, everybody else down here, and ever since, these 400 years, we've been seeing where people try to tear this person down because they want to get to the top, all right? We'll knock each other down to literally get to the top when we could literally collaborate one another and get to that point together, all right, and stand together at the table because sometimes it has to be a point of separation, all right, from one person to get to that next level. Then we come on back and we get our people and bring it back to the top. But a lot of people, they'll throw darts. They're throwing shoot, shooting in the dark at people. And then they bring them back down. Now we all back on the same level. Then one person go up, we gonna bring them back down. One person go up, we gonna bring them back down. And it's just a vicious cycle of what's going on in society. If you see it, that one person hit the pinnacle, I'm clapping. I feel like I made it when I see my friends and different community leaders do something because I'm like, hell yeah, if they could do it, I could do it at some point. We gonna be working together. That's how I feel once we all get it together, all right? And I think that's the mindset. Well, I know that's the mindset that we gotta have, all right? because. A lot of times, we cannot be thinking about these things. We have to just do them and make them happen. Sometimes it might not make sense, but down the line, it will pay off big if we work together in the community and change our mindset, all right? Once we change our mindset, we, everything else will follow, I promise you, all right? And please think about this as well, all right? Everything doesn't have to be monetized either, all right? I'm doing free teaching. I'm educating. I'm talking to you. All right, just because you're working with somebody, that doesn't mean y'all going to get money together. But y'all can have an impact together, all right? You don't have to get money together, but you can have an impact together. Imagine two people coming together, all right, and going out in this community and making something happen. That is big because it's going to spread like wildfire. Everybody else is going to be like, dang, if they could do that, I could do it too. Let me go get my person. Let me go get my person. A perfect example of me feeding the homeless. All right, I got people inboxing me and texting me I don't know, and they just want to donate to the cause because they see the value in it. That's what we have to get as a people. All right, we have to get to that point in our business, in our relationships, and in our community. All right, and then um, the last thing I want to leave y'all with, uh, the last thing that was on my heart, that was on my heart, Coach. All right, the last thing I want to leave you with, I gotta read this one because I wrote it down. All right, Chall I challenge you to look up. Um, I challenge you to look up the next city meeting, all right, that's going on, all right, in your city, all right, and see what you can take from that meeting if it's virtually anything, all right, and how you can bring that information back to your house, just your house, not your community, just your house. Start right there by educating yourself on your city first, all right, and the community of what's going to be going on in those meetings, all right, and what you can bring back. There will You will find value in there because it's something that you probably don't know because it's a new meeting. That's what I want to challenge you to do. And this week, I want to challenge you to do your homework. Look up at least five black businesses, all right? In some way, shape, or form, support five black businesses. 
All right, and I ain't talking about it always got to be money. It could be a like, it could be a share, it could be a thank you for sharing. That's why everybody share my videos. I say thank you for that because I really appreciate it because you're putting the message out there for me as well as me putting his work, and I know you've seen value if you're doing that. You might like me as a person, but you definitely have to see value what I'm doing to share those videos. So that's what I want y'all to do this week. Um, that's all I got. That's community engagement. That was something that was real big on my heart, and I want. I do not want these two words to get overlooked. Community engagement, do not overlook these words because this is the thing that's going to happen. This is what's going to make it happen, all right? We can have all the money in the world, but if we ain't a community together, it'll fall right back down, all right? Because we only as strong as our weakest link, all right? And um, yeah, that's about it for me. Um, if you got any questions, um, I'll be taking the questions uh, right now. Uh, I'm going to turn y'all around. Said cries in the fucking. I see you. All right. Let me, uh. All right. So I'll be taking questions now. Um, if y'all want to, I'm right here in front of y'all now on this side. So if y'all got questions, um, I'll be taking your questions. I'm gonna go back and scroll up and look what y'all been saying. Uh, sorry about that. All right. I see, I feel like up to two or three, but I'm guessing. Yeah, it was like one I had in there. All right. <laughs> hey, Miss Potts, <laughs> if she's still in here. One, one, good. V1, I'm over here taking notes myself. All right. <laughs> good job, man. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I had asked it earlier. Uh, let me look through this question because people built up justly. Some people find it easier to ruin. Yeah, so when people don't have anything to go off of, a lot of times I see that um, with the jealousy piece. Um, but I say with jealousy, you got to more educate people because it's going to be jealous people out there regardless. It don't matter even if it's in their head. It's going to be people out there jealous and it's just been happening since the beginning of time. But if you have a chance to go educate that person, go do it before you get emotional. And I just had this conversation with a friend of mine and I was trying to tell her the separation, you know, between, you know, our emotions and our feelings. Our emotions, they aren't real. All right. Our emotions, what's in our head, our feelings, that's the thing that we really ooze out. All right. That is the that is the trauma that we push out to people. That is the hate that we push out to people. All right. But our emotions that start in our head, we could keep that thing compressed. But when we let them feelings out, when the feelings come out, it's over with. You feel like you, you got to break the whole world apart. It ain't just your community. You want to break the whole world down. All right. Any more questions? Uh, yeah, because it's 701. Uh, Clarence, if y'all know him. I don't know if he uh, said something to him. Uh, let me see. I know he did. I saw it. Um, Clarence, he was in here. Yeah, Clarence Brockett. Um, he going to be going on his... Um, he got his uh, live that he doing, and I want to go do that at 7. So if y'all have any more questions, um, I'm going to head out. I thank y'all for um, coming in here. All right? I thank y'all for um, watching me and supporting as well. Anybody that bought a T-shirt, um, I got a couple big announcements coming that I feel like everybody in our community can benefit from. If you want to and you see the value in it, I think you really will because we just trying to change this thing one step at a time, all right? It ain't going to happen overnight, but if I call myself a leader in the community, a person that see themselves as a leader, like I'm going to do everything in my power to not scratch myself then, but I'm going to give you everything that I got, you know, to go maybe spark your interest to go do your part in the community. And I, I hope y'all see the value in that because... This is something that absolutely has to happen, all right, if we're going to get through that community engagement, all right? So please share, like the post, all right? Let other people know you was on here, all right? Um, and we'll tap in. I might have another session this week um, if something on my heart. I probably will because I got the announcement that I want to um, make um, probably sometime this week. It's something I'm putting together um, for the community. I think a lot of people have found value in it. But um, once again, I appreciate everybody that come on the live, everybody that watches, and everybody that tunes in. Um, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you. Uh, see you, Ms. Mays. All right. So if y'all got no questions, I'm going to be out. Um, what we need in our police department's community policing. All right. So good question, uh, Jeremy Mays. She's talking about policing. Um, where is my paper at? Give me one second. I forgot to tell you about that. All right. So you, you're talking about um, policing. Um, one thing, all right, so if you're talking about policing and this is in Boynton Beach, 
on July July 21st, there will be a meeting um, in Boynton for the meeting on um, use of force for police. So that meeting will happen on July 21st. So if you were interested, I'm pretty sure you could get on the email list for Boynton Beach. Get on that list so you could tap in on what they'll be meeting about on the use of force with the police. And that'll be your chance to probably communicate as well. Um, I could imagine some of the meetings I went to, they do open up the floor to the public so they could uh, speak their mind. So that's definitely something um, you could tap into and do if you're not interested. I don't, I'm not necessarily going to speak on community policing because, you know, people grown. I get it. I would just hold people accountable. I ain't going to police no grown person, but I will hold them accountable and to a standard because that's how I do people who are around me. Because, um, like, you know, I talked to one of my friends today and I was telling him, you are, you know, I learned this, you are the sum of the five people that are around you. All right, if you got five scammers, well, let's say five people, if you got five scammers around you, you're going to become a scammer. All right? If you got five scholars around you, you're going to become the sixth scholar. If you got five millionaires around you, you're going to become the sixth millionaire. All right? So it's that accountability piece. Because I wouldn't be no millionaire and have somebody that's not bringing value to the group like that. That just don't work because we're on two different planes. I'm either going to try to get you to that plane and you're going to take in what I'm saying, or you're going to get left. That's just how it goes. All right? Because sometimes you have to be uh, cutthroat with those things. All right? Because some people... When you get to a certain level, and a lot of people downplay this, you operate at a very high frequency, all right? And that is your mentality. And this is the type of thing that makes people very uncomfortable. And I see that more and more. When you're operating at a higher frequency in your mental space, a lot of people get uncomfortable because you show that you have discipline, you show that you love yourself, and you show that you don't really care about what people got to say about you, all right? That scares a lot of people. When you have those different talks and you tap into yourself and your spirituality so that's just a whole nother topic but i just want to you know put that out there into the universe all right so if there ain't uh, any more questions uh, i'm gonna head out it was a great session i appreciate y'all as usual for tapping in make sure you visit the website got one of our newest shirts all right and um if you're on the email list i'll be sending out you know some stuff this week uh for you as well contacting uh people that uh tapped in and um you know bought a shirt and things of that nature because I'm going to keep that pipeline between, you know, me, the customers, and our members that we got. All right. And I want to bring even more members in because, you know, got a big announcement coming. All right. But peace and love, family. I appreciate y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. All right.